classroom today is to set up the desks, clean the desks, and set up the cubbies. So let's see how much I get done. I will check in with you when I start to freak out. Okay, so I arranged them into groups of four for now. I have to even them out a bit, um, but I cleaned the desks. This table back here is going to be my small group table. Usually it's like a kidney bean table, but I'm going to just use what I have. Um, this desk, I'm going to ask to be these kinds of desks instead. Um, tore down some old papers. This is going to be my teacher desk area. I have to figure that out. Um, and then I also, I'm not going to show it, but I did label with a paper clip. Not paper clip, binder clip. Um, the students' names on the cubbies. So, doesn't feel like very much, but it's day one, so. today and I feel like <clears throat> my voice is gonna be a little bit scratchy starting out the school year because I'm always losing my voice um, but today is the first day of school so teaching fifth grade um, I did not do a very good job of like updating going through the setting up of the classroom it just got to be too much, um, but everything is as good as it's gonna be for now. Um, and I have to just remind myself, like the kids won't notice all the things that I notice. So hopefully anyways, um, but I know they're gonna be just as nervous as I am. So yeah, hopefully there's just so much to remember and so much to plan for, so just setting up the routines, setting up like the expectations. Um, yeah. Hello, good morning. It's been a while. Um, I keep forgetting to vlog um, because I'm so busy. Um, but anyways, today is Monday. Yesterday I went to the fair. I feel like the fair is fun in theory, but when you go, you get kind of tired out. Um, what am I doing today? Good question. I need to do my newsletter because I didn't do it yesterday. And I am hoping to take a break from my master's program because it's just a lot right now with, um, obviously teaching, um, But I need to finish this one course first, and this one course is kind of killing me, but we will get through it. Um, okay, so I've been doing group points, row points. Um, there's just always so much to do. I have to do a sub binder still. I need to come up with a lesson plan for my observation. I'm getting observed like next week or something. Uh, we did spelling today on vowels. We're going to do geography and history tomorrow. All good things. I'm very tired, obviously, so. But at least I remembered to vlog. Okay, good morning. It is Tuesday. Sorry about that loud sound. It is my projector. Um, what do we have going on today? Tuesday, Tuesday. 
we have, we're gonna be learning about ordering decimals. So much fun. Um, working on preparing them for their first test. Uh, I finished my slub binder, sorta of, kinda. I have a few things to add to it, but it'll be better. Um, and then, what else do I have? Oh, gonna hang my cur curtains later. Yeah, not bad. Okay. Good morning. I feel like I have not vlogged in a quick moment um, because I have been sick, which is it really starting teaching if you don't get sick all the time? I don't know, but it has been uh, a lot and I feel like I need to be real with you guys. So I started my master's program and going into teaching. This is my first year. Um, and it's been very challenging. Um, I have a lot of behavior issues in my classroom. We live in a very, uh, I would say, challenging area. Um, so with that all being considered, I have decided to take a two month hiatus from my master's program, which feels a little bit defeating because I tend to over overdo myself. I tend to like overdo it. Um, because I just, I want to keep going and going and going. And sometimes I need to take a step back and realize that that's not the best for me and that I need to take a break. Um, so that being said, I finished, um, the last exam I had to do for this course I was taking and I will be taking a two month break. So I'll be starting again in December. Um, just because I feel like I need to get my, like, need to get grounded in what I'm doing as a teacher. There's a lot of required, like state requirements that you have to do as a teacher. You have to get like all these artifacts together and it's just a lot. Um, and it's a lot adjusting to my own classroom. So 
feel a little bit bad, but I also feel like the sense of relief, like, okay, I can take a breath now. Um, anyways, I took that test when I was, like, really sick, too. So kudos for me for passing that, but that is where I'm at right now as far as, like, completing my master's program. I just needed the break. Um, and there's a lot going on in September, October, November. Uh, so I think it'll be nice to have that break. And then starting in December, I can spend a little bit more time because we have winter break. I can get a lot more done. Um, I'm a little bit, I'm still a little bit nasally and congested, but it's so much better than it was. Um, so yeah, that is, that's my current status. So being for real, of course, everyone says it's like not easy your first year teaching. Um, so I feel like I bit off a bit more than I could chew, and there are, there have been a bit more challenging days rather than good days lately, um, just with the students that I have right now. So it's been a bit of adjustment. I feel like I'm a broken record about that, but that's where I'm at right now. Okay, I have been loving this candy corn trail mix from Target. So delicious. I made pumpkin whipped cream to put in my coffee. I love fall. I'm definitely a fall girly. Autumn, love it. Also, I've been making all the soups. Okay, hello. Um, I've had such a productive day. Cleaned my room, cleaned the bathroom, um, put away the stuff that I've been putting off, putting away. Um, what else? Oh, I straightened up my car. Can't say it's the cleanest. Don't look too close. Um, it is September 28th, so we're ending the September vlog soon. I'm going to a Sounders game. I'll get some of that, and then... I'll sign off for September and I'll get this all situated. Um, wow, what a roller coaster of a month though. It has been a very trying, very trying and emotional month, but you know, we're making it through. Um, what else? We had pizza and cupcakes yesterday. Um, one student brought pizza for his birthday and another student brought cupcakes, which I like that it wasn't like double cupcakes because that gets a little crazy. Um, but also, if you're listening to this and you're a parent, cookies are the best way to go. They're like not as messy, but that's just my opinion. Um, do what you want to celebrate your kid. But yeah, so I will... I will keep you guys updated because I know I-5 is going to be absolutely bonkers this weekend. So, oh, and I will show you some crafts that I'm going to do for October. Maybe I'll put that in October's vlogging situation, but yeah.